Hello, today in this video, I'll be showcasing how to set up simple voice chat on a server in Squid Servers. Now, I will say that if you don't really like videos and you prefer reading, there's a blog that I will link down below. I'll just give you the text version of everything we do here. But for my visual learners, here's the video. So first thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna create your server. Um, I'm pretty sure you can choose Fabric, Neoforge, or Forge for the simple voice chat mod, but I'm gonna use the plugin, so I'm gonna go with paper. Let me go ahead and click next. Uh, Minecraft version, make sure you select a version that actually exists and is in a pre-release. You can enable Bedrock, but I do want to let you know that if you do that, the tunnel for the voice chat server won't automatically turn on when the server turns on. You'll have to manually do that, so just keep that in mind. Click next, click next, and now I'm going to launch the server. All right, now that the server is launched, we're going to click continue dashboard, and we're just going to click stop right here. All right, next thing we're going to do is open the server files. You want to go to the plugins folder, which is right here become plugins and now we're going to actually want to download the simple voice chat plugin so i'm going to link down below the link to the plugin on modrinth click download and you're going to want to select your version and the platform you chose for your server so i'm going to do paper click download and i'm going to download it to the plugins folder that we were just in click start now we're going to want to go back to our server and we're going to want to actually uh, set up its configuration files and wants to do so just click start and you view the console and wait for everything to set up. All right, you'll see that says voice chat server started on this port here. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is create a bedrock tunnel and link it to this server. Now, as I said, if you enabled Geyser, you already have a bedrock tunnel here. That just means you won't be able to link it. But this still applies for you since the voice chat server uses the UDP protocol. So we're going to select bedrock, which is uses UDP under the hood. Click create tunnel. We're going to wait for this to give us our public address. Awesome, we got our address. And a very important step here is you want whatever is after the colon here to match this local port here. But right now I see they're mismatched. We're going to click edit here. We're just going to type in the port 6348. If you don't do this, this voice chat server will not work. It'll say you're not connected. These two must, must match. Now, as soon as you got these two matching, you're actually going to want to link the server if you want it to just start up automatically whenever you run the server. But obviously, this you can't do this if you have guys running at the same time. So just keep this in mind. Now that I have it linked, I'm going to go over here, turn my server on, and you will see that this always says not reachable. That's because this is peeing for if a bedrock server is on there. This isn't a bedrock server. Remember, this is the simple voice chat. So this is always going to say not reachable. Don't worry, it'll still work. So now what we're gonna wanna do is open up our server files. We're gonna wanna go to plugins. We're gonna wanna go to voice chat. And now we wanna edit this voice chat dash server properties. I'm gonna open this with notepad. Now that I'm in here, you wanna make note of the port and the voice host attributes. So first thing we're gonna wanna do, go back into squid servers. And we're going to want to copy this port here. Copy that. Place it with that. And for the voice host, we're going to use what everything before the semicolon in our bedrock tunnel. So copy that. Go to voice host. Control V. Now we're going to save it. Okay. Now that we have the file saved, we're going to have to reset our server one more time. Restart. And when you go into the console log, we should hopefully see that the voice host has started on port 6348. Awesome. So it's the voice host is that up there and the port is there. So that should mean it's up and running on our server. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is actually get the simple voice chat mod on our client so we can actually use this plugin. You can use Modrinth, but I'm just going to use CurseForge for this video. I'll have it linked down below. Click download here. And remember, you kind of want to select your game version. Ours was that. And you can choose whichever launcher you want. I'm just going to do Fabric. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as it's just the correct game version. I'm going to click install Forge app. I'm just going to ask you if you want to add it to a profile. I don't really have one I want to do. So I'm just going to click create new profile and name it this create. Also, it's downloaded and I'm going to click play. All right, sweet. Now that we're in the app, we're going to want to go to multiplayer, proceed, 
And if your friends are joining you, they also need to install the mod and you're going to want to share this link with them up at the top. But if you're the one hosting the server, you can actually give yourself a little lower pain by copying this LAN info right here. So I'm going to do that since I'm the one hosting it. I'm going to add server and name it my SPC server. Paste that and boom. You can see that's working on the local host. I will go ahead and actually paste this link here as well to showcase that it does work for if your friends want to join. And yeah, see, it still works there. I'm gonna join the LAN just so I can get the lowest ping possible. I mean, look at that one millisecond. Awesome, we're in the world and we spawned in this snowy biome it looks. Now I'm gonna press V to set up the voice chat mode. I'm gonna say next. Just gonna use my system defaults. Um, and then I will use voice activation. Just send now microphone testing. No, I should be good. Next, finish setup. You're gonna see that my mic down there doesn't work. That just means that your mic's muted. Press the unmute your microphone and there you go. Should all be working. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing and liking. It really does help out our team and I wish you all the best.